Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Raven Oak Art. My name is Caleb Knowles and I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I thought today we'd do something really special. Um, I'm going to try Earth Tone Challenge. So I'm going to use colors that are primarily in the Earth Tone category. And what I mean by that is they tend to be brown or orange or something you would kind of see in like clay or mud. And, um, you know, obviously the only exception would be white, which is going to be our highlightish color. So, um, anyway, we'll go ahead and get this thing rolling and see what this ends up being. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So, let's go ahead. I got some burnt umber and this color I've never used before. It's called Venetian Red, which also kind of looks burnt umberish. And I'm going to go ahead tap that and burnt umber together and we'll just go ahead and choose a spot up in our top left okay it does look a little bit more red and by the way this canvas is covered in liquid white so it has a um, really really lightening effect as I hit my crisscrosses Now, burnt umber is a really cool color because it tends to um, have the uh, the effect that a lot of oil washes do have. So, back in the older days, the Renaissance painters would go ahead and throw some of that as their background color, just to kind of, or their wash color, just to kind of get some paint on the canvas to to help the eye um, adjust to what they wanted to to see. So. They would do their drawing in this color and then work from there. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a little, lean a little bit more towards the burnt umber side. So watch how dark it's going to be. Oh yeah, that's that's what I want right there. Ain't that a beautiful color? Work your way across. some right there. So since we got this burnt umber up here, let's go ahead and repeat it down low. Because as above, so below. We'll throw. Gonna hit it. Kind of like how we did our last painting. So now I'm going to work my way back over to some permanent orange. I'm going to tap that in and we'll make that our centerish color. I'm just kind of throw that in the center. Yeah, that's about the color I want right there. It's already starting to kind of look like a really Unique sunset. These are colors I normally don't paint. I tend to lean more towards the brighter side of color palettes when it comes to art, but you know, it's always good to challenge yourself and see what you can kind of come up with. And we'll repeat it down here. I'm already kind of digging it. And maybe, maybe, just a little bit of yellow ochre. And we'll throw it down in the center here. And we'll just, just start hitting these circles and blend. And down low also. Alright. So we got that. that color color palette. I'm 
going to go straight across, kind of make this in the water. Just keep on going, softening it. And let's figure out, do we want to do a mountain? Do we want to do a tree line? What do we want to do in our mid-ground? Maybe we can even... Hmm, these, this is that part of the paintings where you try to figure out which way are you going to go on your path because there's so many different directions you can go. I think for this one though, I'm going to actually just wipe this brush off a little bit. I'm going to go to my, my black and we'll just pound it in there. Work your shape up. Make that neat. And I mean, I got a, I got a good bit of black here. And bring it kind of low. Form your, your, um, form your shape here. And draw your eye towards the center, kind of like a smiley face. See how it kind of starts working its way back up. It's an early morning sunrise. And if you have like an area that you think it should be darker at, it's fine. Just send it in there. And see how I'm going up and down with it. It's, it's hitting it all sorts of directions. He's up high, he should probably be high down low. That's one of the secrets to this. As above, so below. Make sure it matches. <laughs> I'm really digging this color here. Got a few hairs that come off this new brush. Make sure that your your tops of your trees have a lot of detail. Those bristles right here, that's where all the shape is formed. I don't know if you ever go fishing early in the morning, It'd be a nice little lake, or, or maybe going hunting, you can see a deer back there, It'll get you some food. like it. like it a lot. Alright, so now I'm going to do something y'all have never probably seen me do. Y'all might have seen me in one of the earlier, earlier episodes. I'm going to grab a shop towel and I use these to clean the brushes. But there's also another secret behind them. So, what you can do is you can grab your shop towel and just set it on an area with a lot of oil. And just hit it like that. And look at all that oil that just came off. And you do that so that you can add highlights and your highlights don't muddy up. Don't don't hit it like that. Like that. You don't want to do that because then you're gonna leave marks like that. You don't want that. Say that and then I go right into doing it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I took off a good bit of the oil. There's a few loose hairs I see. And now I'm going to grab my palette knife actually. to watch this guy stand and walk around. Alright, so I'm going to go grab some black and I'm just going to hit some spots. Or maybe some trees are growing out. 
Just add little details, you know. Maybe this one grow, grew up a little bit higher. And you can even scratch in some stuff, some branches. That's what's unique whenever you don't do a um, big mountain. You put a lot of detail and focus into your tree line. But yeah. All right. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab my, well, I'll say one, oh, there it is, one inch brush. I barely touched the turban I'm going to mix in some orange. I'm going to tap into it. Bend those bristles, and I'm just going to choose some spots. Where? Maybe. Could throw in some color. Look at that. You see all that? That those colors blending and blurring and being formed up. Maybe even a little touch of this red I set aside. Like a another really pretty color. You don't have to do too much detail just because of the distance back, but I'm kind of heading more towards the top of the tree line because you got to think that's where the light would be hitting. Maybe just barely a touch of white, just a highlight. Really bring some light to this shell here. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Maybe something's down here in the water. Or if that ends up becoming water. <laughs> Work your angle back. All right. Like that, we got a very beautiful tree line. Now I'm gonna also kind of, as I was saying, hit some some color down here, some like spots, and then I'm gonna grab it and work my way back. That's the only thing that we really want. And then straight across. And then same thing down here. Alright, so we got that beautiful, beautiful tree line. fishing spot. <laughs> Let's give ourselves some somewhere to walk over here. These hairs are all over the place. All right. So same thing we do with this tree line up here. We're going to repeat that down here. So go back to your two inch brush. Grab yourself some, some black. And we'll just put them right here. And make them really dark. The more you tap, the lighter it's going to get. So if you need to reload it, reload it. That's perfectly fine. The main thing is just making sure it's dark towards your bottom. Got all that. <clears throat> See, 
are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good on time, I'd say. All right, so I'm now going to go back to my palette knife that I was using earlier. And ah, what the heck? I, I rarely do it, so let me, let me go on and do it. I'm going to give ourselves a big treat right here. Right. Yeah, just get your tree formed up down here. If you got one, you might as well give him a buddy. So we'll put one, I don't know, right here, make him really tall. And the reason I put him so tall compared to his his buddy is he's further away. You know, if this guy wants to be the star up front, then we'll let him do it. But he can't be tall and the star. <laughs> All right. Now, since this, you can see our light source right here, the light would then hit on our right side of the tree, kind of towards the center. So I'm gonna mix some of this white and this yellow ochre, and we'll just kind of hit a few spots with the marble and kind of like how we do our mountains. Just a little bit, but that's fine. I'm gonna that's why people normally don't use these uh, palette knives, but I gotta be different. So I honestly don't mind these. I, don't, I, I mean, I understand why people say not to use them, but. I do think they can do some cool stuff. But anyway, so you got that. Let me grab a script liner. And script liners are really cool brushes. They're the ones that we normally use to sign things. And I'm just gonna choose some spots. And just some Mars black. Bring them all the way up. <laughs> and alternate from side to side where maybe some branches are growing. Make sure your, your paint quite loose. Maybe some still grows up. There. And don't antler them. I'm, I'm bad about doing that myself. If you can, try not to create like antlers. <laughs> See how I just come out and then well, you, know, you don't really want that. You want them to just kind of be loose and just grow out. Maybe he even grows down a little bit more right there. And we'll do the same thing over here.
Maybe girls back across. Give the bird somewhere to roost. <laughs> All right, so got those beautiful trees there. Let's um, give our brush here some life. I'm gonna go back to our one inch brush we were previously using. I'm gonna dip it in a small amount of terpenoid, which is just a solvent. And I'm just gonna hit some spots. Look at that. And maybe it's in the yellow. Let's go down to Man, those are pretty colors. And maybe we'll even go back to our Vanette red or Venetian red. <laughs> oh man. Maybe got a little bit of it growing. And why not throw in some green? Can't just all be fall. Must be in a fall cake. I did our first episode for this season as a fall painting also. But this one's really fall. Look at all those colors. Ain't it lovely? You can go back with your palette knife, maybe scratch in some branches. start kind of working your way down your hill. See? All your highlights taking form. And don't take away your shadow. You still need that shadow. That's important. That shadow brings out your light. Without it, wouldn't be any detail, so. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Let's, oh yeah, that's pretty down there. And you know, color down here. What I was going to say is, you know, um, I'm kind of feeling like maybe a little rock path or something down here. You have a fisherman somewhere to walk. My uncle's got a pond where he lives at and it looks kind of similar to this. Down in Georgia. Let me, let me, and see I just switched the brush over, now I'm hitting it kind of at an angle here. And just that's just so we can have some little indication of where some grass might be. I'm just going to add a touch of highlights. Oh man. And look at that little grass path. <laughs> probably end up doing the same thing in one second but before we do that I'm actually if I forget I, I said that we would we would make ourselves a little some rock down here so I'm gonna choose a spot and I'm just gonna oh that's bright maybe I want it more burnt umberish You 
want it to be dark because you want to later highlight it. So if you make it too dark like I did, you can just kind of add some more of that, that dark color, which for me is burnt umber by itself. And I'm just, as I get further down, I'm going to apply some more. more color but I did learn something neat about that you know that literally is a quote-unquote happy accident because uh, it just taught me a good highlighting color this new uh, Venetian red so this is why we try out new things it's a pretty highlight I'm gonna go back push all this back. See how we're doing on time. We're at 26 minutes. Well, we're, we're cutting it pretty close. So let's, um, I'm going to go back with that one inch brush I was using earlier and I'm just going to kind of hit it back over. Let me, let me push down. If you go over the rock, just be careful. You don't want to have too much blare on your rock. I'm just gonna go back, maybe add a touch, absolute touch of white to create our highlight color for our grass. And watch it. Bang. You can see where the grass is kind of growing over our, our rocky path here. love it and I don't know since I'm, I'm gonna wipe this off I'm gonna grab some black a burnt umber some black and we'll push this whole thing back this is gonna be unique I can already tell you push our I'll go back, grab our palette knife. And we got that now. I'm gonna go and grab some beautiful orange. Mix that in with our yellow. I first started painting like this there's a guy that would watch paint and he did it very similar to how I just did it and this is the first time I've ever realized how he did it so <laughs> I wish I would have known that back then just all the texture I think it's so beautiful Right. Well, I think we got ourselves a painting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if that you did, make sure to click that like, subscribe. Uh, we can do more fun videos. This little challenge ended up being pretty cool. Um, let's see. you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. And um, thank you for watching. Happy Pansy and God bless you. Bye. Thank you.